Well, welcome back to Harvest Log at Overbree. It's day 25. We're a field called uh, Foot of the Hill, and that's uh, exactly what it is. It's the bottom field um, that sort of divides the hill land and, uh, and the vale, effectively. Uh, we're cutting spring malting barley. Uh, we've got two combines on the go at the moment. We've got a demonstrator over there, which is a class, uh, I think it's a 750. Um, and uh, 30 foot header on it, sort of doing a, doing a pretty good job. So we've been covering some acres today, which is which is good. There's some rain forecast on Sunday, stroke Monday. Um, so we're uh, we're grateful to be given another machine to have a look at. We cut some wheat with it this morning, parked ours up, uh, but we've got two of them running now. And uh, just to try and uh, try and get this last bit of malting barley done, we won't finish it tonight, but. Uh, the moisture is coming down all the time, or it was, it's just since the sun went in sort of about half past eight, or an hour ago I suppose. Uh, half an hour ago, it's the 22nd, 22nd of, uh, of August today. Um, since the sun went in it's just been sort of creeping up, a tree obstacle here to try and negotiate, so I don't really want to drive into that. Um, the, uh, the moisture has just started to creep up, which is uh, which is a little bit frustrating. Hopefully, we can finish this field tonight, uh, and um, and then we should be back into some wheat first thing tomorrow morning, while the uh, while the rest of the barley just dries out enough that we can um, we can put it straight into the temporary storage. If this is of uh, destined for a harvest movement um, and this is due to go to Molson Coors as part of our commitment to the Molson Coors Growers Group um, and this barley it's uh, not only being used in carling now but they're also using it in doom bar so um, if you're a bitter drinker uh, then um, yeah if you're, uh, if you're drinking some doom bar you it could well have been made with the malt from uh, produce grown here at Overbrick Farms, along with some of the other 135 other Molson Coors growers, which represent somewhere in the region of 35,000 tonnes of the, the 140 or so that uh, that they malt at Burton on Trent. So the group commits quite a, a considerable tonnage to that uh, that organisation and. Um, it's great that uh, the Molston Corps are backing British farmers by using 100% British malting barley in, in those, certainly in carling. Um, so there it is going in the grain tank. So, yep, this is where we are, and uh, tune in tomorrow. See how we're getting on.